There was a problem in ancient Egypt, and it wasn't from plagues of locusts or angry pharaohs. It was the Nile River. And yes, the Nile was the reason why civilization grew in that part of Africa in the first place, with its life-giving water and the rich farmland that it nourished. Egyptian farmers could plot out tracts of land and grow crops to sustain massive amounts of people in the otherwise harsh Sahara Desert. The problem was that every year, the river would flood. And, as the floodwaters receded, they would have washed away all the markers indicating where property lines were, and farmers couldn't be sure exactly what land belonged to them. This meant that every year after the Nile flooded, tens of thousands of square miles of land in the Nile Delta would have to be resurveyed in order to know who owned what land. This task was accomplished by the Harpet and Apti, which literally meant rope stretchers. These were engineers who used stretched lengths of ropes to measure off land to survey borders or to help lay out buildings. If a plot of land was known to be of a certain length and width, it could be possible to stretch out ropes of that length and width and lay them out in a rectangle. But that would be a very problematic way to plot out a rectangle. It's possible to keep the ropes stretched tightly and still distort the shape. It could even be possible to collapse down the shape so the measured field would have no area whatsoever. Measuring lengths is essential, but they are of no use without knowing if you have a right angle. So, the challenge was, how could they measure an angle using only the rope that they were already accustomed to using? The Harpet and Apti had an ingenious trick. They would take any length of rope and divide it off into 12 equal lengths tying knots to mark off each of the one twelfth pieces. One person would hold one end of the rope, and another person would hold the rope straight from three knots out. The third person would then hold the rope straight from another four knots out, leaving five sections of rope left. Giving the first person the other end of the rope, they form a triangle with sides measuring three, four, and five. And the person standing at the corner of sides three and four is guaranteed to be making a right angle. With this rope pulled snugly, there is no way to distort the right angle. With massive ropes, they could measure out massive right angles and quickly survey out the entire fertile farmland. With this kind of early need for accurate measurement and shapes, you can see how measuring out land, or as it was called in ancient Greece, geometria, or earth measurement, led to the study of geometry.